Hey, Jay here. Uh, with this CRF250 here, we're going to put in some new steering stem races. Um, they're already kind of starting to knot up. We're putting in a new applied triple clamp. So we put a brand new race on the bottom. That's a whole other story in itself. Uh, so you want to have, if you put a new, new races in, new bearings at the same time, same matching set. Um, a lot of people are afraid to take out their, their stem bearings out of their frame because it's kind of hard. It's not that hard. Just got to do it. You're not going to mess anything up usually. So knock them out, put some new ones in. We'll show you how to do it on this thing. Pretty simple. You need a couple tools like this with a nice straight edge like this. I, we'll even use both ends of this punch here. We'll try this and then we'll, we'll grind it flatter to, to we can get a lip on that, that race. That race only leaves up a tiny bit that you can grab. So we're going to knock them out of here. So I just keep moving my punch around getting looking down here and getting right on the lip and you can feel it on the bottom when you get on which can be like I said a bit of a challenge but when you get on there you kind of feel it Just like so, and it's out. Um, usually there's a lot of extra grease in here, I'll knock that out. That one goes flying and you have your putty pick it up and throw it out. So on this race that we just knocked out, you can see we're only touching with the punch on just, I would say less than 20 thousandths is just hanging in, half millimeter uh, max. Uh, just barely hangs in, so it can be kind of hard to get, get on there. That's how we knocked it out. So since our engine's out of this one, I'm gonna lay this thing down where I can get a little bit better leverage on the thing and get in here and knock this thing out. And see it's already started. Now I can see it needs to come out this side right here a little bit. And then I just can give it another tap. Now if the engine's in the bike and you have it standing up, it can be a little harder trying to come up from the bottom. It's kind of a pain, but it can be done. So we're gonna heat up this frame. Obviously this is something you wanna be very careful of doing. In a vented room, there's no fuel tank on this bike. I've cleaned off the grease. I use a torch to heat it up. I've got the races in the freezer right now. Like I said, the inner races on pivot works or any steering stem bearings you're using uh, should be heated up. I mean, it should be cool, obviously, uh, in the freezer cooled off. And we've got the frame being heated up right here. I'm gonna heat up this top one and do this top one first. Here's our race that's nice and cold. It almost just falls all the way in right now. Didn't even have to hardly touch it because uh, it's cold and the frame's hot. So now this Motion Pro makes this Sano tool that, and it has different sizes that fits right inside there. And you just hit it in and here we drop down to the right height. One thing you'll want to make sure of is that your height is the same all the way around. I'll lean this over a little bit and we want to have the same distance all the way around so this thing's seated all the way flat. So we've knocked this one in. The bottom one, you do the same thing, just right up from the bottom, press it all the way to have the same distance. You feel it bottom out completely so they're completely together. 